MGA Entertainment CEO Isaac Larian has an office filled with toys. But these days, the job is far from child's play. 85% of his company's products, like LOL Surprise and Rainbow High, are made in China, and getting them to U.S. stores is getting harder. A lot of them are sitting in factories, factory floors in Asia. A lot of them are in containers on the way here. The global supply chain is still playing catch up from pandemic related disruptions, including factory shutdowns and a spike in online ordering. That's led to a shortage of shipping containers, causing prices to explode. Last year, a 40-foot container cost $3,200. Now it's a bidding war. It's gone up to $22,000, $23,000. Companies that win the bid face another major challenge. Dozens of ships carrying everything from computers and clothes to toys are waiting outside of Los Angeles area ports. Containers. Mario Cordero is executive director at the Port of Long Beach. Only about 40% are on schedule because of the delays at the port of origin, whether it's China, whether it's Vietnam. Once containers are unloaded, a trucker shortage is delaying shipments from getting to stores. When can we expect things to return to normal? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, uh, that, that, that period keeps moving up. He believes the supply chain won't improve until next summer. Larian is now using air freighters to try and get toys to customers in time. And when it comes to holiday shopping... My advice to parents, etc., is don't wait. Because waiting could mean missing out on that perfect holiday toy. Anthony Pura, CBS News, Los Angeles.